why I'm not excited for Croods 2. First of all, this trailer was supposed to drop Monday, and I had forgotten about it. And I, and the reason I forgot about it is because number one, nobody was sharing about sharing this trailer around. Nobody was talking about it. And you would think for a major animated studio release, this would be something they want to share around. But nope. Now I should state, if you're a fan of the Crudes, the first film, and you're genuinely really excited for a sequel, I don't want to like crap on your parade and say, hey, screw you or anything. I'm just expressing like, I don't really care about this film. Um, and I want to express some of my frustrations that I've also been having uh, going on with certain people in the industry right now, pushing films out when people can't go see films. We'll talk about that towards the end of this video. So let's talk about Crudes. The first Crudes, I believe, came out 2016, 2014. I don't remember. And nobody really talked about it. It was kind of average. It was just kind of meh. The humor was very childish, but there were some funny moments. You know, I enjoyed it. I was a kid, and I, I really liked the Crudes. I thought it was fine. I think a lot of people were disappointed because it had the producers of... Um, Lima with Stitch and How to Train Your Dragon, and it just didn't turn out as good as either of those films. It was just a generic, very bland, boring film that wasn't really all that special. And, you know, it, it's fine. Like, it's not horrible, but yeah. And now we're getting a sequel. Now, first of all, I heard about a sequel several years ago. It got canceled. It got revived. There was a Netflix series on the show. Or on this movie. And we never got that sequel. It's kind of the same thing I heard about. Uh, them making a sequel of Puss in Boots. You know that kind of the same thing. Except that one I don't really understand. That movie was hit. It was a good movie. I don't know why they didn't make a sequel. But my main thought. So they said they were going to put out a trailer this Monday. Didn't even see it this Monday. Because again nobody talked about it. I sat down. Watched the trailer. <coughs> I was like, what? Why? Uh, my thought going into the trailer was like, why are we making this exactly? And I watched the trailer and my thought went, why are we making this? Because this film is the exact same film as the original. Now, of course, I haven't seen the film itself. Maybe they'll throw some twist or maybe it'll be different. But you see the trailer and it's the generation gap from the first movie. Our cavemen are trying to find a new place to live because, well, they've been having a hard time finding a new place to live since the events of the first movie. Which wasn't that the point of the first movie is that they learn to be free and kind of live on the wild side. Don't understand that. But then they meet these new people uh, who are different and they're learning all kinds of different ways. And then there's a girl who literally Eve in the trailer states is exactly like her. Gronga seems to be going through the same character arc. This is really awful. And you can tell they're trying to do the generation gap because it's funnier now. Because there are boomers, as, as we call them, um, who are, like, shutting down everything the new age of people like or, or into or the things that they just don't understand. Even though some of their ways are toxic um, and bad long ago but they refuse to acknowledge that you know so it's like that okay boomer type thing you know what I mean but it you can tell that's why they're going this direction but again we did this in the first film why are we going in this direction I don't want to see this film honestly I won't like it it looks about the same as the first movie in quality if not slightly worse because again we saw it in the first film now, this film is slated to go to theaters in November. First of all, that's really awful marketing. This film is going to bomb. Because what does November mean? Well, first of all, you just put out a trailer at the end of September. Like, we're in the last week, one of the last weeks of September. And you're putting out a trailer now. So your film is going to bomb. Also, I 
want to see Tenet. I have not seen Tenet. I would love to review Tenet and watch it in theater. But Christopher Nolan is an a-hole. <laughs> now, I didn't want to say that, but he is. Because he's a director who says, hey, I need my film in theaters. Cool. And like me, I love theaters and I would love to see his film in theaters. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely am. Let, let's save theaters. That's that's what I want, okay? But. You could have pushed your film back. Or you could just not put it out in theaters. Because it's not a safe time to put it out in theaters. It's not a good time. And it, it's just absolutely terrible. Because. This is a film that I want to see. Lots of people want to see. They can't see it. You know, I live in the United States, okay? Not even 60 to 70% of theaters in America are open to where people could go to the theater and watch your film. It is absolutely awful that this film is being released right now. New Mutants was being released. Again, Disney owns the rights to this film. They probably could have put it out on Disney Plus had they just signed a few contracts. Like, you know, of course, the actors probably had contracts to, to for a theatrical release. Same thing with a lot of people in the vault. They could just wrote in or, or added things to the contract or, or whatever they needed to do to put it on there. And it would have been a big hit on Disney Plus. They were just like, let's rush it out. That's really sad because every film deserves a chance to be seen by people and when we are pushing films out it means that people are forgetting about it because while there's a lot of people talking about Tenet there's also not a lot of people talking about Tenet it's a really sad predicament and it's a horrible thing for people like this to be pushing films I hate that all this is going on and and even for just films like this which to me, have no value or worth or interest to me, but they're pushing it. And it just, you know, I've been having this thing where I've been like anti uh, Netflix and things like that, but what I've grown to appreciate about Netflix is that they have audience, they create audiences for different things. You know, I remember Martin Gorstezzi can't coming out being like, oh my gosh, I hate that my films have to go to streaming. Wah, wah, wah. But when you realize that his films are not films that appeal to everyone, even though a majority of his films are incredibly well-made, thought-provoking, interesting films, when you realize all this, okay, you realize all this about his films. That they're not going to appeal to everyone. By them being on Netflix, they're, they're a lot they're more accessible for people to watch. They're more likely to build an audience. But Martin Gorstezzi says, Nay, nay. And I get it. You're an old-fashioned director. You may, you're you used to fi re releasing films in theaters. But people like this and Steven Spielberg bashing this way of releasing things is absolutely unacceptable to me because your films will be more appreciated if they release this way and they will be more likely to be seen and it's just insane to me that we are doing this having this discussion as much as I like a hundred movies to just be put out on blu-ray right now realistically it's just not gonna work out that way as much as I like to go see Andrew movies in theaters for the next 20 years. Things are going to change. And change is good and needs to be accepted. And, if, and this is the change of entertainment. Streaming is. Whether I like it or not, I need to accept it and acknowledge it. And I think people like Steven Spielberg and Martin Rostezzi, older fashion directors are refusing to acknowledge it's the future Christopher Nolan I make art Mr. Pretentious um, you know what you know 
is out there pushing films in theaters when nobody can go to theaters. And it's just, I get it. I get a lot of where these people are coming from, but that doesn't mean I have to agree and accept where they're coming from. Their points are still valid, but they're also things and observations that they're not thinking about.